Okay, folks, welcome back. This is your old pal Hondo. I'm going to show you how to do the classic Kentucky rig for bait fishing. Um, you could also use it for a jig head too as well, and I'll show you different techniques you could use it for bait fishing. Um, so stay tuned. I'll show okay, you how folks, to make that the first rig. thing you want to do is get yourself some leader line like so. This is a 60 pound test. We're going to show you how to make a um, catfish rig real quick with this. And uh, first things you'll need is two hooks. One, two medium sized hooks. I think these are like size 12 hooks or something like that. Um, eagle claw, you might want to use a uh, bent shaft hook that has like a little bend in it, but this is all the hooks I got. Straight shaft bait hooks. You want a bait hook too that has a little barb on the back so it holds the bait on there. These are a lot bigger hooks. These are good for cat fishing. You'll need a regular swivel, uh, a snap swivel, and something to float. I like using this uh, conduit foam. This actually works really good. You can cut small pieces of it off and put it behind the hook so it'll float the bait and uh, this will be the catfish rig you'll need a, a hook a weight snap swivel right there it has this little uh, this little end on right here that snaps closed and open and you need a regular barrel swivel and the weight we're going to be using is a one ounce and one fourth ounce weight you want to use a a bell weight like this for this type of rig a bell weight for this type of rig right here and uh, we're gonna get some line right here as you can see there's line and what you want to do now is you want to make sure you got about a foot right here above the loop the first loop you're gonna do and what you do is you take the line like so if you can see the line and loop it like this and wrap it around once and twice around that loop push that loop through the, the bottom of the hole right here and pull it tight you want a long a long enough loop to put the hook on there there you go right there and it'll pull tight and it won't go nowhere and then what you want to do from here is do another loop right down at the bottom about another about a you know you don't want too far down there like that it's pretty good like that you want to make another loop right here in the line you want to give it enough line so you can put the hook through you know, you grab the, the loop like that and you just run it once, twice around that loop and push the loop, the main loop, through the connecting loop like so and try to give yourself as much line as you can with this loop so you can put the hook in the, the hook and the um, float in between there. And now that you got that ready, you could tie on a swivel. First, you want to tie on the base swivel, like right here, onto the the first snap swivel for the top of the rig, like so. And you just want to do a regular cinch knot. Or this line is so strong, it's just going to hold, you know, like so. And you just put a small swivel through it. You want to wet the line and pull that tight through that knot there and right there's plenty of good knot right there just make this line so thick it just <laughs> that's plenty of good knot right there for the main swivel and right here down at the base right here you want to give it about a about a foot long line right down there so you can tie the new rig on here like so you can take a pair of scissors and just cut it once you cut it like that you put your weight snap swivel on here And uh, once you do that, put that weight snap swivel on there like so. Of course, it's getting away from me. And you just basically want to tie it. Just regular cinch knot. Don't have to be perfect. This line is tight. It's going to be tough. You know what I'm saying? This is 60 pound test. You want to wet that knot. Pull it tight through the hole there. Kind of pull this down a little bit, and that should be good enough right there. Now we got the two loops now right here for the bait. Now we're going to cut some of this here foam into a small little um, little piece here. I'm going to cut about a chunk of it off right here. Oh, you know, I need two pieces of that. OK, 
Okay, you got two little pieces right there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a knife and cut a slit in there with the knife like so. Now you could buy dedicated uh, little rubber pieces that go over these type of rigs. But I'm, I'm just jerry-rigging this, you know what I mean? You want to put the line through this like so. Through that small piece of foam like that. This helps float the bait up through the current. You want to get that first hook and then you're going to push this piece through the hook if you can get it through the eye you, you're going to have to bend this the line down like so it's the hardest part of doing this it's trying to push that through the eye like so if we got enough room then once you do that as you can see you wrap this over the top of the hook like so and then pull it tight and it wraps itself around the hook like that once you do that you move on to the next one and right there you have your first uh, bait hook and float swivel your float on there and uh, we're going to take this other little piece of float and we're going to cut a nice little slit in it to where it's uh, going to be able to go through the float like so now if you don't have conduit foam you could use styrofoam this works pretty good. I know it's Jerry rigging this rig, but this helps the bait float, keep it out of the out of the the tree limbs and stuff underneath the water. And we're gonna grab that other hook. We're gonna take this and push it through the eye of the hook like so. And you're gonna need a bigger hook for this uh, heavier line to do this. And uh, push the line over the over the top of the hook and pull it tight what that'll do is these little floats will keep the bait floated off the bottom and help the bait float up in the current and there is your basic uh, Kentucky bait rig has the snap swivel the, uh, the barrel swivel at the top and there's the hooks right there and this will increase your chances and you can put more cut bait or um, uh, live bait on that rig and float it at the bottom and then once you get that ready you can take this here this weight swivel snap right here and put your barrel weight at the bottom of the rig and snap it closed if you can get it to snap closed well we're not going to be able to snap it closed I should have used a bigger barrel swivel for this but you get the gist. You could use a bigger barrel swivel and what this does is it keeps your uh, bait from uh, getting snagged you know with the, the with the uh, with the floats on it and it keeps the bait from getting snagged and it get, increases your chances of catching fish um, that is the uh, probably one of the best catfish rigs there is and uh, offshore fishing rig you know for catching redfish and um, for catching snook um, pompano on the beach stuff like that it's a heavy duty rig and it will work hey folks that was the uh, that was the bigger rig I'm going to show you how to make a smaller one this time we're going to be using this uh, small um, braided line to show you how to do it take a swivel you take the line right here about a, a foot above the main line and we need a little bit more line we're only going to do one hook this is going to be a good panfish rig or a trout rig you take the loop of the line like so and you just wrap it once and twice and then push this through the main loop right here is a loop right here as you can see push it through the main loop like so and then pull it tight you want a little bit of line exposure like right here enough to wrap the hook through the uh, line and put the small um, and put this you'll need a small barrel weight for this in a small size 8 hook bait hook put the the float first in there we got a small piece of uh, styrofoam finally got it to go through the hole once you do that, you take your loop like so, 
and you're going to have to push this loop through the, the eye of the hook if you can get it in there. Yeah, I got it now. We got the hook through there like so. If you can see that, I don't know if you can see it. And try to open that loop up right here on the hook and wrap it over the top of the hook like so. And pull that tight, and there you go. That's your first hook right there, and it will just dangle out like that. And you push the the slide foam over the top of it like that. And I say this will be the top piece right here. And what you want to do is about get about a foot of line off the bottom here. You want it about a foot off the bottom like so. And then when you think you got enough line right there, you can just cut the the line where you want like so and if I can cut the stuff, the stuff is really buku hard to cut and we're going to put the the snap swivel on top right here and we're going to do a improved cinch knot since this stuff is a lot lighter I can get away with this uh, type of knot push this through that hole like so and try to make another loop on the main line like this and uh, we're going to loop it like this around. Try to get it through here. Proof cinch knot. And push it through both of the loops. Push it through both of the loops like that and just pull it tight. And this is a good uh, knot for, uh, for this type of uh, rig setup. There you go and it's tight what you're going to do right here is you're going to want to take the main line right here at the bottom and then you can take a small weight like this a small bell weight and you know just tie a regular knot you don't have to do anything special just tie a regular knot in the bottom like this and you know it's nothing special like that and tie this at the bottom here oh man really so I'm trying to do this this is one of the most difficult type of lines to use for making a rig like this okay you just want to tie a regular knot like that and there you go that is a Kentucky rig right here for bait for trout fishing you got the weight at the bottom the hook in the center you could put probably another loop in there if you wanted two loops to make two bait to put two baits on there um, but you want to float because it helps float the bait up like so um, and uh, keeps the bait out of the crap and this this rig right here will keep you from getting stuck in the in the crap a lot it's also good for trout fishing in a lake and uh, trout fishing and and streams as well um, the, the snap swivel goes on top, the barrel swivel goes on top, the weight goes on the bottom, and then you put this on an ultralight rig or a medium sized rod and reel. And that's basic, uh, basically how you make a Kentucky rig. Weight at the bottom, hook in the center, and float right there as you can see the float and the barrel swivel at the end right there. That's how you make two, uh, two Kentucky rigs right there for cat fishing trout fishing or lake fishing for bass whatever you're going to look for pan fishing uh standard if you found this kentucky video rig. informative and helpful about the kentucky rig please give me a like share subscribe this has been your old pal hondo from hillbilly tactical y'all know what you can do you put god first he puts you first every time and you know what else youtube god loves you so does hondo peace out tell me pretty lights look me in the face Tell me that you love me, even if it's fake